sir is it possible to convert it in ppt so yes definitely you can convert a video into images and then later on you can add that images in your ppt so in this video guys i'm going to share with you different methods through which you can convert a video into images so you can see here this video has different images and sometimes what happens that uh, we like some images from a video so you can take a screenshot but but if you want more images so you can easily convert a video into different images so uh, this video is regarding that so i will be sharing all the methods through which you can convert a video into images so let me download this video here and guys i will be sharing three different methods with you through which you can convert a video into different images so you can see here i have successfully downloaded this video so let me double click on it so this is a very great video on national education policy so i want to convert all this video into images so let's start this video guys and uh, first of all the vlc media player is a great application so i'm using that for first so open vlc media player and click on open and now you have to click on tools and go to preferences and after preferencing click on all so here you can see at the bottom now search for video so this is the setting you have to do so click on video and in the video you have to click on filter and here at the right corner you will find this option screen video filter so just enable that and then just come back here and just expand the filters and search for that is screen filter now here guys you have to do two things first of all you have to write the file name so you can write anything so I'm writing ppt images and then the next is directory path prefix so you have to uh, add a directory so address or location so I want to create a location at the desktop so I'm creating a new folder here so ppt images so now I'm going to copy the location here so just control C and I'm going to paste it here in the directory path prefix and going to paste and click on save now you have to close your vlc media player because we are going to again opening this video so that is in my download folder so all the images going to come up here in the ppt images so double clicking on my computer and going to download so now if when i click on this video here so when i play this video automatically all the images are going to save in that folder which i have added in the directory folder so just play it don't pause it so you can minimize it so i'm going to minimize it and let me show you the folder here so here guys you can see it automatically converting all the video into images so you can easily take whatever image that you want so this is our method number one through which you can convert a video into images so and one more thing that just disable that because uh, you don't want all the videos you are playing through your VLC are going to convert into images so just disable that after doing that so let me show you that just go to your VLC and again go to the that settings you have done so click on all and go to video and here you have to click on filter just disable that and in the your screen filter so screen here, here it is so just uh, erase the directory which I have you have given here and click on save so now whenever you play another video it is not going to make the screenshot out of that so coming to our second method that is using a video editor so I'm using this Wondershare Uni Converter uh, sorry Wondershare Filmora so in this software you will get this uh, screenshot option so whenever you launch this software if you are not using any video editing so this option is not for you but if you have this Filmora video editor so you can load your image into the this media file here and you can uh, drag that video onto your timeline and you can do certain settings here you can adjust or crop the video so here you can see crop and zoom so I'm going to crop this video so that I can take the screenshot in a proper method so let me just crop that click on ok so let me increase the size in the display window here 
so here guys you can see this is the timeline here I can move my slider here and there so whenever I want to take the three screenshot here at the icon for that and here you can see in the uh, file grid menu here you can see so if I click on reveal in finder so here it is just sim simply like uh, taking a screenshot out of your uh, computer so it is going to save this uh, screenshot in a folder so you can easily access that so you can see here so this option uh, applies when you want a certain portion of your video so you can do certain things here like you can add text right away here and then take a screenshot so this is a very useful software so you can take any screenshot like whenever you want to take a screenshot just to take a slider over there and click on snapshot button and it is also going to add here in the media files so you can see here these are the files here so coming to our last method so this is the second method last method not the least so you can use this adobe premium pro video editor so this is the best video editor you can see so this is a very powerful video editor so if you have this you can use that because this is going to convert every frame of your video into images so this is a like a we can say top notch software for converting a video into images so you have to open it and create a project and if you don't know how to use it you can ask your friends or you can even ask me i will convert your videos into ppt so no need to worry about that so just create a uh, project and then click on ok so you can see the settings wherever you are creating your project click on ok so all you have to do is to just uh, drag your video so i'm going to import my video here so where my so this window 10 is uh, so in download so i'm going to drag it and i'm going to place it here in my adobe premium pro and i'm going to drag it again in the sequence so this is video guys you can see so all the images and all that so all you have to do here is to export this file so clicking on file and then go to export and here in the export click on media and here when you click on the media you will find these options so not i'm not going to into detail of that simply just select jpg or png so you can select any format so if you select jpg it will convert the video into jpg format if you select png then it is going to convert it into png so this is your output name wherever this images are going to save here so guys and trust me this will uh, really a good method when you have uh, like 1000 images in a video so this you can convert all the videos or you can use the VLC so this is for only the, for the professionals so just click on export and this video is going to get converted into images so very easy if you are using Adobe Premium Pro software so let me show you that uh, where it is uh, saving all these uh, images here so that is in my C and in my users so that is in the computer lab I think so that is in documents and I think it is in Adobe so Adobe and here it is premium pro so let me double click here you can see guys it is converting all the images so maybe if it is uh, 25 frames per second then this Adobe is going to convert uh, 25 images of one frame so you can see so these are a lot of images you can see so you can click on any image and just select the screenshot and share it add into your ppt so whatever you want to take make so very good method i think so that is all guys how you can convert a video into mp3 i hope i have covered everything so don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon guys so in the next video we will learn something new